Hi everybody, another homework video for you. Uh, today we're going to look at the double leg stretch. It's a classic Pilates exercise, one of the original 34, uh, and I'll show you a couple of adaptations at the end. So five minutes of this a day and you're really going to get into that core, the abs, some good shoulder health, uh, hips, hip flexors in particular. Um, so it's a good, particularly anterior, so front of the body exercise. Um, it's on the mat, face up. If you haven't got a mat, a soft floor will do. But because you're resting quite a bit on that, uh, the, the back of the pelvis and the, the lumbar spine, you will want something soft underneath you. So we'll get on with this. I'll set it up for you. Lying flat on your back, just giving yourself a second just to become heavy on the mat and relaxed. Knees can be bent or you can just kind of get yourself comfortable lying out flat. To set the exercise up, we are going to bring our legs to tabletop position. That's 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knees. We're then going to lift into ab prep, pressing that belly button down towards the spine and into the mat to control the pelvis so that throughout this exercise, your pelvis isn't rocking backwards and forwards. You wanna feel that back staying still on the mat. So you're up in ab prep, working those abs, drawing in the core. We're gonna take the arms out to about 45 degrees, and we're gonna take the legs out to about 45 degrees, keeping that core engaged, scooping those abs down and up under the rib cage. And take that breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna sweep the arms round in a circle, reaching out. And as you do so, you're gonna bring the knees in and you're just gonna lightly hold, tuck the head up towards the knees. And as you inhale, we're gonna shoot back out. So the sweep round is controlled relatively slow and the shoot out is really precise and controlled back to 45 degrees with the arms and the legs. Up and out and round. And when you're done, just with control, lowering back down to the mat. So I'm going to do that one full set of 10 so that you can see it flowing rather than just in conversation. And then we'll talk about the adaptations. So bringing yourself up to the setup position, tabletop, ab prep, arms out, legs out. Big breath in and exhale for 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and back to the mat. Resting down, just give yourself a little stretch out, hug your knees into your chest if you want to give those abs a little bit of relief and those hip flexors, and just getting your breath. So a couple of simple adaptations for that. First of all, you're setting yourself up as usual. Legs in the tabletop position. Up into our prep, bring the arms out to 45. Leave the legs where they are and just work on circling those shoulders out and round. And the ab prep is really loading up that core and the abs and the circular movement of the arms is giving you that good shoulder mobility and health and the movement of the arms is also unstabilizing the core, so your core is having to work harder to be under control. Another simple adaptation to that is just do the legs. So if ab prep is becoming a little bit too much for you and the arms out, just keep your upper body down and you can just work the legs, but make sure it's a nice deliberate movement to work those lower abs and hip flexors, keeping that core on extend to 45 really pointedly though reach out and come back exhale to reach inhale back and this on its own is a really good workout for those abs hip flexors the core and particularly targeting those lower abs so that's the double leg stretch with a couple of adaptations in there for you. As I say, five minutes a day and you'll really start to notice the benefits from that over time. 
break those five minutes up into sets of 10 with a 30 to 60 second breather in between and as many sets of 10 as you're comfortable doing. Don't overdo it, maybe just work yourself up to three sets of 10, maybe a maximum of five sets of 10, but start low and build yourself up. You don't want to overstretch immediately and just leave yourself too fatigued to repeat it day after day. Any questions, pop them down below or drop me a private message and I'll reply as quickly as I can.